So to go with the video of the my sister's Costco rotisserie chicken, I decided to pull a bag of my Costco rotisserie chicken out. I have 58 more bags still from 2017. So I have 58 bags that are approximately five years old, give or take a couple of months. Costco rotisserie chicken is one of them. So this is part of the shelving. So if you've seen, uh, you may have seen this before on some of the other videos. This is two racks and actually it's two racks deep and two racks wide. So there's four racks here. There's actually another row further back behind that. And there's eight more bins behind that. So we have 48 bins on the racks right now. And we still have uh, three more bins that haven't made it to a rack at all yet. So we still need to add some more to it. But we do have, as evidenced by this little blue piece of tape, we do have a few bins that still have space. So the little piece of tape tells me that there's space in this bin. This bin right here, this front bin is empty. Then I have one more bin at the bottom of here in the back that is low. So it's at least half of a, a bin and then two more bins. So I have three empty bins and then a couple more bins that are low. The Costco rotisserie chicken is from August of 2017 and right now it's November of 2017. It's in 4B, which means it's in 4 back, and we will be renumbering these later. So just a number without a front or back. This is another one of the old bags, our, our oldest ones from 2017. This is green beans from our own garden from September of 2017. But I need this one back here. And I'm looking for Costco rotisserie chicken. When we started our freeze drying journey and putting things on the shelf, we didn't label them very well. So I do have a lot of information on here. So as far as I know, this is the bag I'm looking for. It's from August of 2017. It was from batch number nine of mine. It says that it has four slices of chicken breast cooked, but I really think I'm looking for Costco rotisserie chicken. So I'm gonna look a little bit deeper in here. Okay, so as far as I know, I've got the right one. So batch nine, some uh, chicken breasts, it's cooked and I really can't tell what shape it's in. So I don't know if we wrote down the wrong thing as far as it being rotisserie chicken. It doesn't seem like it would be without me writing that on there, but I don't know. It says there are four slices. That's enough for a couple of great sandwiches. So we'll probably do those tomorrow. Record. Okay, so we've got one of our last remaining 58 bags from 2017 here. And we had changed the date on here because our first few batches, we were writing the day that it went into the freeze dryer. And then, I mean, the first few batches we were writing when it came out of the freeze dryer uh, and was bagged. However, because of the timing, sometimes it was longer than others. Um, we decided that we would start writing the date of when it went into the freeze dryer because that's what our notebook had. We were writing when it went into the freeze dryer and then we were writing on here when it came out of the freeze dryer and it was a little bit more confusing to find that bag again. So we switched everything to the day that it went in and then this one we had to correct to get it uh, back to where it should have been. Anyway, this was from batch nine. So we'll cut this open and get ready to make probably some sandwiches because it says that it's four slices and it feels like pretty good pieces. Okay. Yeah, so these are some of the chicken breast pieces that we cooked in the oven. And they're a lot thicker than I was thinking they would be. Well, we'll get them in some water. 
So it turns out that that chicken was not Costco rotisserie chicken, as we can plainly see. It was some chicken breast that we cooked in the oven and sliced into thin pieces. Um, the problem came in from when we did our inventory a couple of years ago to put it onto the database for the first time. Before that, we were just putting a label on the end of the bin and trying to update it and then trying to find things again, which didn't work well. So once we got our database set up, uh, we went through and inventoried all of the batches, all of the bags. Unfortunately, we did some of it wrong. So it says rotisserie chicken because we shortcutted at some point and put rotisserie chicken where we should have separated the different types of chicken. But I went back and looked at our notebook of information. Uh, we write down each batch that we do, and that had what it was. Anyway, so it's still easy to find what things are with our database. Like I mentioned, if the label falls off with our current ones with a printed label, we can still find out what it is by looking at the batch number. Unfortunately, I didn't do that before I started this video uh, to go get a bag of chicken. I thought I was going to get rotisserie chicken. I'll have to do rotisserie chicken a different time. So I'm going to rehydrate these with some chicken broth. So here's what I'm going to do with this thing. Since this isn't the thin slices of rotisserie chicken from Costco that I was expecting, I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate this with some very hot chicken broth. And then I think we'll kind of chop it up and make uh, kind of a chicken salad stuff for like chicken salad sandwich. So I've got uh, very hot, I put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes, the chicken broth. And I'll just go ahead and pour that over it. And it'll just soak up what it needs. And then we will kind of cut it up afterwards. And to help keep that off the cutting board, uh, the mass of this thing really cooled that down. So I might have to warm that back up to really get it to rehydrate quickly. Yeah, because that <laughs> dropped at 80 degrees. Ah, didn't think of that. Okay, we'll put that in the microwave and we'll come back and set it back here. So I'll give that a few more minutes. Looks like it's doing pretty well. And we'll be back to it. Okay, I'm going to just make sure this is shredded up a bit. And then we'll add some chopped pickles and Miracle Whip. This was the ones that I baked in the oven and overcooked to begin with. So this is what it was to start with, unfortunately. Okay, is that enough pickle for you? So then do you want some chopped onion in there? A little bit. Miracle Whip. And if you're a barbarian, you could use mayonnaise. Or a caveman. I don't know if you could put a caveman in there. I don't think it fit. I need a bigger bowl. Yeehaw! So unfortunately, it only rehydrated back to what it was when I first made it but I'd overcooked it, so it was still a bit dry. But other than that, that's quite good. All right, so chicken salad stuff for sandwiches or just for a snack. I suppose you could put it on a lettuce or something, like a barbarian. <laughs> chicken salad stuff on crispy bacon. And make a sandwich. And when you put it over your face. Oh, that's good. So that's all I got for now. Uh, later, I'll find one of the bags of rotisserie chicken. Well, I know where they all are. I just thought this old one was one of them. It wasn't. So until the next one, keep rehydrating stuff.